Hi everybody. I hope you're all ready for Ghosts and Goblins tonight or tomorrow or whenever they come and visit your place. Uh, we have a few little spooky critters around here and I hope we're going to see some more. So there are a few things I wanted to talk to you about today and one of them is the craft shack and what's going on over there. Um, I think you've all seen something about the challenge that's going to happen between CC and uh, Heather next week. And I'm getting ready. I've got uh, magicals and I've got nickel as a yellow and I've got my Dinah. Uh, this happens to be a <laughs> iridescent blue green. And, of course, I'll be picking stencils, and I have a canvas. I have a canvas. So, I will be applying things to the canvas, and although I won't be part of the challenge, um, I will be posting pictures of what I do. Um, we have an election coming up next week, so I won't be participating as they craft it live, but know that I am with you guys in spirit. That's a pun, right? In spirit. Okay, so we're going to go down to my desk and I'm going to show you a few things that I wanted to talk to you about. Okay, so let's see what I have on my desk. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about was tailored expressions. You know, every year now they've been having this event called Stamp Joy in Ankeny, Iowa, which is where they're located. And um, I attended that. And some of the things that I had gotten while there, this is a, a die, a cityscape die, and they have really lovely dies. Um, this is a card that I made using that die and um, the Tim Holtz Distress Inks in the background. But isn't that cute? I love cityscapes. Um, they have very intricate dies, like this one. And uh, here is a card that I made um, using that. Um, just die cut the background piece and mounted it and um, die cut the image because they have uh, die, dies that match the stamped images like this and very easy simple to do cards um, you can see what I do is a lot of times if I like a color combination I'll just write it right here on the packaging so that I know what to do but you can see these cute borders um, that are going to be fun to play with. And then these are, this was a stamp set that was given to us uh, for attending the event. And really, really cute images, folks. Um, I hope you stop by Tailored Expressions and take a look at what they have because they have some really, really cute things. Um, over at Craft Shack, uh, they have W plus nine which uh, I have a set here that I've been playing with a little bit. I want to use this for more of a watercolor look. So you can see I've been playing a bit with watercolor and these stamps to see what I can achieve with that. And then I would started recording uh, twice now and the video did not take off. So <laughs> I've already been into this package, but I thought I would share it with you because you know how I love CC and everything that she does. And I was just so excited because I'd gotten this package in the mail. And she is such a lovely person. She had sent this package and I'd watched a video online that she was making uh, these bookmarks. And how lovely is that? Is that just too beautiful? Um, she sent these beautiful napkins. I know I will enjoy working with these. Um, I might even use it on that project next week that CC is going to uh, show us how to do. And then she sent uh, lovely things like these dictionary uh, pages that were published in 1924, the year my mother was born. How sweet is that? And look at even the detail on here. She's got a little cityscape 
on the note that's attached to this. And these lovely, lovely papers, just gorgeous. And then here, this is, um, these are from her French grammar book she used uh, in my last year of high school. Um, and they're her notes in the margins. Isn't that cool? My mother studied French when she was in high school, and I have her grammar book here in the house someplace. I'm not sure I can't lay my hands on it right now, but oh my, uh, this is so dear to my heart. I just can't tell you how dear this is. And look at the images in here. This is going to be so fun. And then this. Oh my gosh, guys. I, my heart went pity pat. This is so special. Um, I will put the link either down below or up in the information. She did these uh, cards on a video on YouTube and I absolutely fell in love with these. I'm still in love with these, but look at the shimmer on this. Is this not to die for? <gasps> oh, just gorgeousness, gorgeousness. I'm going to be drooling over this. I'm going to set this up on my shelf and look at this for a long, long time. But I think what she used were these um, magicals, but I'll go back and review that video and take a look at that again. Now, don't forget about next week. Um, they will be doing things with these types of products. It's a 3 two, one challenge. Oh, one other thing I want to show you guys before we go. We were talking, or we were, I was talking about, you know, the, the dear things that are in here, the, the things from school, the uh, things that were published in um, the year her mother was born. So I thought I'd show you a couple of things that I had done in remembrance. Um, this was a uh, cigar box purse that I had done a while back. This image is my mother on the front and it's just all coated to protect it but it's a it's a functional you know you can take this and use it cigar box. I just put a handle on it and you know stamped it up and put these things onto it but that's my mother. Isn't she lovely? And then uh, here's another box that I had done and this image is, um, this was my grandmother, and this was my mother when she was an infant. So, you know, this was a box in remembrance that I'd done for them. And then over here on the side, this was an image transfer. This was my mother and father. You can barely see it because it's an old, old photo with an image transfer. And here again, too, this was my great-grandmother and some relatives that had come to visit and uh, you can see just how ancient these things are but this was also a cigar box that um, I had decorated with some of those photos that um, I treasure from my past so just to look back in time um, wanted to be sure and thank you thank you thank you CC these are also lovely and I will put them to good use and be sure and watch the show on the Craft Shack next week. Um, I will be watching a little bit late, but I will be watching. So enjoy guys and make fun art. Bye.